Okay, yeah, now uh, here, uh, Fred, I got a, a blast from the past for you here. All right. uh, let's see if you know this voice. Uh, hello, sir. Mr. Yes. Guest, go ahead. Yes, who is this? Uh, is, this I, is this Michael Pintech? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, for goodness sakes. That's what, he, that's what he always used to call me. He used to call me Michael. He would call me up. My Fred, does this does this voice ring a bell? Is it Al Dame? <laughs> yeah. Was that really the mayor? That's what I want to know. She was the mayor at one time. Absolutely. Is that right? Yes. Well, I'm I'm so excited to, to sort of join in with uh, Fred, who I haven't seen in 30 years. Yeah, because we saw each other in Harrisburg when I came to do my show in let, Harrisburg. Let right? me interrupt for just a second. Al Dame is on the line. Al Dame is uh, our yep. former boss. In Harrisburg. Uh, the owner of Dame Media, and uh, he, he owned a bunch of stations that he ultimately sold to the Clear Channel Radio Company. And Music I, Radio WKBO. Those were the good old days. They, they, they were the good old days. They certainly were. You, Al, you, you know, Al Dame knows how to go up against a big shot. Cause he, <laughs> he, we, we had a little 1,000-watt radio station. But we knocked the socks off the big guys in Harrisburg, Boy, look, and we had a great team at the radio station, and Al was a great guy to work for. Well, let me tell you, we certainly did, and between you and Michael, um, you put together a strong format for us with your, with your news, and, and we ended up being able to grow and get to be bigger based on the quality that came out of WKBO so many years ago. Wow. And it was uh, more than exciting for me, and... and uh, right at the moment, I'm retired and missing radio uh, very, very much. Uh, radio misses you, too, Al. Well, I, hey, I spent 62 and a half years wow. in the industry, and that's a long time. But, uh, Al, uh, I'll tell you what, radio needs you again. I mean uh, that. I mean that sincerely. I, honest I, mean, to God. I remember going into Al's office as news director, and it was a capital budget thing, and we needed a new console, a new radio console for the newsroom. And I went in, and I was trying to do the best I can to keep within budgetary limitations. Oh, yeah, right. And sure Al, you did. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but then Al looked up and said to me, he said, uh, you sure you don't need something bigger? And I said, what? He said, you sure you don't need something more elaborate? And I said, whoa. That, you, that's the kind of guy you love working for. Michael you, Young, listen to this man. You know, yeah. you know, uh, hey, Al, uh, one of the coolest things Fred did at, at Harrison, because Fred was the news director, yes. uh, and, and I, I had been there as an afternoon guy, and then Fred came as the news director, and then when Fred left to go to Philadelphia, I became the news director at WKBO. So I've worked with Al for a long time, as, as did Fred. But you remember Fred talked you into getting those news cars. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Twin and, yellow Camaros. Yes, I do. Unbelievable. <laughs> it was brilliant. We rocked, didn't I we? I couldn't believe you went yeah. for that. <laughs> I, but, I remember but, going out with Al to the car dealership to get the cars. Remember, Al? Yes, I do remember, and it was it was a great time for all of us. And I think I know what you mean when you say there's some interesting things that, that could be done with radio today. Uh, uh, I've been watching and watching and watching it, and... Uh, um, I wonder what will happen in the next few years uh, to one of the really great industries. Al, do you remember uh, when Fred uh, Fred caused the huge ruckus over the Mike Flag Wars? Yes, I do. Yes, okay, I, do. Yeah. I love Mike Flags. Mike Flags are my life. Mike Flags, Mike Flags. The, it's the little thing that they put on microphones to identify the radio station. You see it all the time on TV and in the newspapers yes. or pictures. And Fred caused this humongous turmoil in Harrisburg because of the Mike Flag Wars. I'll yeah. never forget that. And then I great. brought that Mike Flag War to Pittsburgh and uh, the TV station. Uh, or the one time, uh, the one story I had from when I went and covered the Democratic Convention in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, I Kitty, remember that. Kitty Dukakis came out and had a little news conference. We're all, I'm standing there with my KDK Mike Flag. Yeah. And all of a sudden, some guy starts pushing my hand down. Yes. And I put it back up, and then he pushes it down. Then I put it back up, then he pushes it down. Kitty Dukakis thought she was on Sterno again. <laughs> and, and, and finally, I, t the, I turned around and hit the guy on the head with a microphone. Then when Kitty Dukakis left the guy with the TV, I said, you ever do that again, I will shove this microphone so far down your throat. Meantime, the cameras are still rolling. A state trooper came over and told us to, uh, to break it up. But that encounter made it all across the nation. The next morning, Cigna calls me on the radio and yeah. said, do you need me to send some guys down with no necks to protect you? <laughs> <laughs> and, all, and all of that got started in Harrisburg because yeah. Heinsberger decided that he wanted to put a mic flag on our, on our uh, uh, WKBO <laughs> microphones. And the, and the TV stations in that town... Never, for whatever reason, they never used mic flags. So there, there were times when they would literally would not start a news conference 
I remember one with the mayor of Harrisburg. Wouldn't start a news conference because the TV guys refused to roll their cameras because I had a mic flag on the mic because Hansberger told me to do it. Mic flag with the mic. Well, let, hey, let me add a couple of things that, that you guys did. I think under both of you, you came up with the Joe Snyder Award, which was a big thing for a uh, top 40 radio station. Do you couple remember times, anything I, about that? Yeah, a couple of times we did that. Fred, more than Fred once. Did you're that you're, and, you're and, absolutely uh, right. It was more than once, and it made me... Uh, uh, so proud that I dug into the news business, and, and we've gotten several other awards over the years that that were all as a result of, uh, I think, the high professionalism that, uh, uh, Fred, you brought to, to the radio station and what uh, uh, Michael did when he followed you. Uh, well, and we were so lucky to have uh, both of you. But I, I want to take just a second to tell you a little story that my family laughs about all the time. Uh, I started in the radio business when I was 13 years old, and I was in Catanning, Pennsylvania, at a station that doesn't even exist anymore, I don't believe. But anyway, um, uh, my family, my mother and dad and my uncle, kept saying to me, Al, if you're going to be in the radio business, you will never make it happen if you don't go to work at KDKA. Because at that time, up and down the Allegheny Valley and all over that area, KDKA was such a dominant radio station and such a highly uh, professional radio station that it had all the audience. Uh, it was just great. And um, when I uh, started to wander around the industry, uh, I came down to Harrisburg and was involved with this station. And uh, uh, my mother and dad came down one time and listened to Fred on the air, and they liked him very much. And uh, every time they came down, they would say, is Mr. Hunsberger still in town? And I would say yes, but finally one day, Mr. Huntsberger was gone. Mm. And my parents, my parents uh, came in and said, where is Fred? And I had just heard, Fred, that you were at KDK in Pittsburgh. And um, uh, my mother said to me, Al, you've got to get um, uh, out of Harrisburg. Mr. Huntsberger is a success. And you're, you own and run this little tiny radio station in Harrisburg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mom, and to this day, my mother doesn't know that we added a bunch of radio stations, but um, uh, they, they just figured that anybody who got to KDKA um, was a winner. And I can tell you one other thing. I came down to Pittsburgh to run Weep and Daisy many years ago. I remember that. And, and I was down there, and every time I stepped off the street corner, a KDKA car practically brushed me and <laughs> i was sure driving. and there were so many of them i didn't know what to do so i finally said i'm going to get out of pittsburgh this is too dominant a place for me to be successful in the radio business so i left and went back to uh, state college oh, wow. but uh uh you guys made it yeah actually Al, i started at a radio station you originally owned wrsc is that right yeah that's where i started and i started when you still owned it yeah oh my gosh Till, uh, well, it's, un Bob's it's unbelievable, but I just, uh, uh, I felt that, that uh, uh, Fred, you and uh, Michael both uh, have made the successes in your lives by uh, being extremely talented, and on top of that, and I think this might even be more important, you're fine men. Oh, and and I think uh, that's an important road you, to Al. take. Al, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Well, I mean, you're more than welcome, and uh, if you ever get to Harrisburg, or if I ever get to Pittsburgh, uh, I'd sure like to see you guys sometime. Absolutely, Al. Uh, we've been uh, Pirate and Steeler fans for years, and living in Harrisburg, we still are. That's great. Al well, Dame. We look forward to uh, seeing you guys again. But Thank you, Al. Michael, con or, uh, Fred, congratulations you, on Michael. 30 you, great Al. years of uh, one of the most highly skilled professional broadcasters in the state of Pennsylvania, if not in the eastern seaboard or bigger. Wow. And may you have uh, a lot more great times in the industry. And uh, for you, uh, Mike, uh, the same thing. Thank you, Al. And uh, you're good guys, and I'm more than happy that you worked together with me on one occasion. It was our honor to work and, for you. Al, it, it truly was. I, I, I talk about that often. Al, I, I've got to run because we got commercials to play. You know what that's all about. Yes, I do. And he will respect that. And he will. <laughs> <laughs> Al, thanks again. Somebody wrote, thank you both. All right, we, uh, we'll continue here in just a few moments with the Hans Band's 30th anniversary show on News Radio 1020 KDKA.
1230 WKBO or Marnette McKissick has 12 minutes and 30 seconds to call me at 561-1230 and claim a Sean Cassidy poster and a t-shirt in the great Cassidy catch. Marquette McKissick, call now.